Any... We got ripped off, basically. <laughs> What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So today we are here at the original Goon Squad Garage and today's gonna be the last video dedicated to this 2021 Ram TRX build. As you guys seen in the previous video, we actually completed it about 100% and now what we wanna do is just go ahead and do that price breakdown for you guys like we mentioned. But the first thing that we wanna start with is actually taking it up to the dealership. So we finished it about 100%, but we want it to be 1000%. We wanna go ahead and clear all the codes that are on, on this truck right here. There's like a whole Christmas tree going on in there, which I don't know, what is it? Like the traction control, the brake is everything. on. When, a bunch of different <laughs> stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and take it up there, see if we can clear everything. And then once we get back from there, we're probably gonna go ahead and schedule an alignment. Try to get this sucker going straighter like a like a train, you yeah. know what I mean? Train on track, you train know what I mean? Train on track, and one of the main uh, reasons why we want to go to the dealerships is to get the all-wheel drive working. That's <laughs> right, exactly, because it is super cold, as you guys can tell. That's why I do this right You got to rub your hands and warm up, dude. <laughs> Bear Grylls taught me that right there. You got to stay warm right there, but there is probably some snow up on the mountain, and we might take a little trip up there as we're doing our wheeling and dealing. You know, we're going to be wheeling yes, sir. and showing you guys all the deals. The nice deals. Did we get a nice deal on this thing? I don't think so. I don't think so. That's why oh, this is going to be a really interesting um, wheeling and dealing, and dealing challenge, challenge right dude, here. For yeah. sure, because compared to how much this thing was off the auction, oh, my goodness. we'll talk about that we'll later. We'll talk about that later. It was pretty hefty off the auction, and then we threw a couple more thousand dollars in parts. But you know what? We still got to pull a bunch of receipts, get all that stuff together, just to get it down to the penny and all that good stuff. So first thing we're going to do is probably wash it actually first, because look, it's filthy. Yeah, dude. it's filthy. We want to get it up nice and clean. The, the water's freezing, but you you know what as long as we can give a nice little wash to this thing i think we'll be good to go dude. yeah we got to get it looking spiffy for the dealership yeah. so let's just go ahead give it a quick clean head up there and hopefully clear some codes Alrighty guys, so we made it here to the dealership over here and we finally got all the codes cleared on this dash, the 4x4, the lockers, everything is finally working. Now this thing is officially all-wheel drive, no more rear-wheel drive in this dude, thing, dude. That is kind of not awesome because dude. the rear-wheel drive was awesome because you dude. can roast the tires. Now I don't think you're going to be able to have that option, dude. I don't dude. think so, man. I'm, I'm wondering if you can do a burnout on this thing with the all-wheel drive, but who knows? Maybe they somebody will do like a little mod that you just press a button and it turns on two-wheel drive. But anyways, this is awesome news because now we can take on any terrain whatsoever with this thing. You just press the TRX button and why ain't the screen cutting on? What? <laughs> uh oh, the music was on. That's but yeah, so now that we, we can use all these functions, if we catch into some snow, we can press it. But we're going to go ahead and say our first price, right? That's right. The price that we bought this sucker off of the auction for, which was pretty crazy because honestly, we kind of overpaid. We knew that we overpaid while we were bidding, but we just wanted to be like the first to rebuild a rec TRX kind of. I mean, there was there yeah kind of like that and we kind of really wanted a trx at the moment while the hype was just because this these trucks were awesome like whenever we first seen this truck come out we're like dude, this is the most epic truck and it still is to this day i don't think any company can put out a truck like this just out that's there, what i'm dude. saying dude this is the best like, the hemi supercharged the best motor like around the best with that power yeah, you know what i mean the best interior the best looking truck it's just overall an amazing epic truck and we purchased this truck off the auction after all the fees and everything Everything after for, we got after we got a little emotional you know while we were bidding you know what yeah, I mean? because that's like, the thing about auctions when you're bidding you kind of throw out logic out the window and now yeah, you're like, just like can, this I other mean, guy i'm, I'm out I this need other this guy. truck <laughs> but anyways we got this truck for 
Offed off every fee for $74,328. $74,000, which is just crazy for a truck that was wrecked of the, you know, of this caliber. This thing looked toasted in the back, dude. It was dude. pretty smashed, dude. And we did throw in a good bit of money. We knew we were going to have to throw in yeah. a good chunk of change just to get it repaired. Yeah, for sure, you know because I mean? we did play previous TRXs and they were going way too high and this one was pretty good for the price, you know we what I mean? actually, weren't we bidding on street speeds? TRX yeah. that he was like destroying or something? Yeah, that we we're somebody that bought his TRX put it on the auction and we were trying to bid on it to see what it would go for. We were trying to give it, a, you know, we thought it was going to go for a good price because that thing been completely Dude, destroyed. He, like, he did some crazy things like he, I think the whole entire all wheel drive system might have got jacked up because like the some dude. different size tires that he ran. That he was putting on there, like big tires in the back, little tires in the front. Yeah, so we thought we were going to get a good deal on that one, but somebody bought it and uh, I think they overpaid like way too much and whoever bought it, reached met, out to reached us out, and was trying to sell it to was us. Trying to sell it to us, and we're like, um, no, we're gonna just go with the different one. <laughs> Once we seen the damage that he did to that truck, we were just like, yeah. And he told us more damages th that were going on. He told us exactly what was happening to that truck. So we just talked back and forth. We're like, just, I think it'll be a better option for us not to just purchase that. Yeah. We'll wait on another one. And this beautiful thing popped up, looked super smashed. So I'm actually surprised it went for that much. But now the prices on these trucks are just skyrocketing. Dude, it's crazy. But anyways, that's the first price i say we go ahead and probably will head to alignment rack get alignment on this thing and uh, we'll get some more prices Alrighty guys, so back at the house here after getting the alignment done on that TRX and even going up to the mountain to do some ripping and we even grabbed a Raptor just to do a little bit of a testing with both of them and I gotta say that TRX absolutely ate up that Raptor, dude. dude. destroyed it, man. Oh I was kind of like just playing with you because you were driving the Raptor and I was like, dang, this thing has a lot of power, That man. was savage. I was so mad, dude. I was, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. That but was, the Raptor's still a good truck, dude. It is. That was fun testing right there and then up on the mountain, dude, you did some donuts in the snow. How did it do in the snow? Dude, what it did pretty say? great. It's kind of weird with the all-wheel drive because it kind of like in the video you can kind of see it kicking in in the front yeah. and it like does its thing but it was really fun with that yeah horsepower. we were going to do a little bit more donuts even in the raptor as well but the campus security came and he Long lifted comp. his hands he was like what are y'all doing made us leave so it we made us leave man took was, off <laughs> that really sucked but you know what we enjoyed it while it lasted but anyways let's step outside here and we're going to start revealing to you guys some more prices you've seen us do all those calculations right there that's all the receipts we're going to show you guys every dime nickel and dime that we spent on this trx dude, here dude you're going to be pretty excited how much we spent on this truck <laughs> i don't end. know excited or <laughs> devastated one of the it's two. pretty cool though it's pretty cool exactly right there but anyways what we're going to do is give you the price of basically the body up so we had a bunch of repairs on this body let's just go ahead and go to the really front up here and we ended up actually purchasing this fender i'll go ahead and say that for 700 bucks 
Fender Flare was around 200 bucks. This right here is actually estimates. This is not exactly to the penny right now. We'll give you guys the penny price a little uh, bit later. Yeah, a little so. bit later. We'll give you like the whole thing of what this whole entire cab costs and then what the whole entire bed costs. Yeah, we're not going to skip on anything here. So we got the headlight as well for 1200 bucks. And then this front bumper, which was an eBay bumper uh, completed from Hennessy was 1300 bucks right there. So that's pretty good prices right there. Hop down to the back over here. We ended up like doing this quarter panel repair, which we bought this whole entire side for 400 that? bucks 400 bucks pretty cheap right there and also we bought this whole entire rear glass for 750 bucks which brings us to a total of body prices from here on up at four thousand five hundred and fifty dollars that's so not for, bad dude. to fix the cab was four thousand dollars which that's actually pretty good dude exactly so i'm gonna go ahead and mention uh the delivery fee we didn't mention that before so we bought the truck for seventy four thousand three hundred twenty eight dollars and then it was a thousand dollars for delivery so we're at seventy five thousand three hundred twenty eight with delivery and then plus four thousand five hundred fifty dollars you guys can do the calculations there we're getting up on the price but anyways we're gonna stop right there on a price revealing we're gonna head up a different location and next thing we're going to reveal to you guys is uh, suspension. Alrighty guys, so we took a short drive here to the battlefield and the TRX is looking absolutely beautiful in this type of landscaping over here. It's nice and peaceful. You got the cannons right there. This is actually a historic place right here. So it's always nice and peaceful here. Yeah, we, we love can, coming out here all the time. We love it, man. You can take a jog out here, take your bike out here, take your TRX out here, take your yeah. dog out here, yeah. your cat, whatever you want, your hamster, your gerbil. <laughs> whatever you want to take out here. I'm dude. just getting a little out of hand right there. But anyways, as you guys know, this thing did take a lot of suspension damage and we had a quite an expensive bill basically that the dealership quoted us so we had to uh, change this axle fix this axle we didn't know you could fix this axle right here until like a little bit later but the dealership quoted us what seven thousand dollars for a brand new axle right there dude. which is just outrageous dude that, that's when we were like no we'll probably like find a used one or find one off of ebay or something like that and uh i mean we didn't know what what to do we were actually uh, held off a couple of weeks because yep. of that dude. exactly so we ended up actually calling around there is an axle shop local by our house and we ended Ended up calling them and they just said yep bring it right in they repaired it and then gave us the price which we honestly didn't really care because we knew it was gonna be a lot cheaper than seven thousand dollars yeah and they just said five hundred dollars dude that's just insane right there that's hudlow dude. axle right there and they got it straight and it drives good alignment everything turned out amazing then of course we did have to purchase a brand new upper and lower control arm on this side because it did get a little bit bent and those control arms look under there they're beefy right there oh so yeah those are made for jumping upper dude. control arm was 350 bucks lower control arm was 500 bucks which that lower one is thicker and of course we had to purchase a caliper as well because some of the stuff was like this wheel was broken off right there right yeah so it broke like the caliper it broke the rotor, rotor and all that stuff the caliper was 200 bucks and the rotor was 125 bucks which brings us to a price of uh 1675 for suspension so we're right at around 80 uh eighty thousand dollars with the cab uh, repairs and, and the suspension repairs. and now we're gonna add the suspension repairs to it so we're right at around like 82 83 thousand dollars or something not, around there not, not too bad not, not too, too shabby, bad but not we ain't done shabby. yet we ain't done yet <laughs> so i guess we're gonna probably head to a different location and, and we did repair the tail light don't forget oh, yeah we right before we took off because this tail light if you guys didn't notice was like not working or something and we found out that one of the wires was kind of like snipped quickly soldered that sucker up and now the tail light works and all that good stuff but the next thing that we're going to reveal to you guys is the bed prices which as you guys know this bed was super hard to, you can't find a complete bed anywhere i don't think so and if you wanted to get one from the dealership which you can find one there it's going to be like ten thousand dollars but i'm already saying too much you're already and, saying too much i say we head to a new spot dude let's go ahead head to a new spot and we'll show you guys the prices on that
guys so downtown chattanooga here another beautiful place and we did have to give this truck a quick wash at the self car wash but don't worry we didn't use their like bristle brushes we had to buy a little mitt we got the all the salt off of it mainly because there was just salt all over the roads it just looks better nice and clean you know what but anyways the next most um important piece that we had to fix because we couldn't buy because this bed was actually ten thousand dollars from the dealership a complete bed which was one of those other things that we were like we have to find used or possibly fix at first i did not think it was possible to fix this thing but once we started tearing this thing apart and ordering parts this bed came out to be around three thousand four hundred and fifty dollars dude exactly in total so instead yeah. of having to buy a whole entire bed we just ended up buying certain components yep. which bedside. that's what it costed us yeah. to so the outer bedside was 950 bucks and then the inner bedside was 300 bucks that's the inner panels and then the tailgate was like 750 bucks plus 250 for like the handle and all the other stuff the camera and stuff like that that we had to buy and also this tail light right here which that was 800 bucks on eBay. its own on ebay right there which i believe from the dealer is 800 bucks too we just wanted to get it in a lot faster exactly. because the dealer was a little bit too late so that just uh what is this co oh plus components. components there's a couple components like for the tailgate right here and a couple components underneath yeah, the bed as don't well. forget those rails and stuff that we had to buy so that was like another 400 bucks but dude all that work was definitely worth it saved like five six seven thousand dollars and look man bed's brand new the inside the outside we just haven't bedlined it which i think the bedliner what would cost probably like four or five hundred bucks I don't know. maybe I mean, even a thousand yeah max. we never got be bedliner before i never, never knew how it. much people paid but they got to do half of it so they can probably do that right there but that's pretty much it for all of our parts let's right? see the next page don't show them too much right there that right there we oh. were just basically just giving you guys rough estimates we kind of rounded everything yeah. that right there is actually down to the penny of everything but Wait, we still got that? aftermarket parts oh yeah that's right we still got aftermarket do you want to do the aftermarket parts here or? at the house let's do it Alrighty guys, so we quickly made it back to the house here where we installed possibly our last aftermarket mod onto this TRX. The super sweet steering wheel from AZA Auto Wheel. Look at all that carbon right there. Looks absolutely beautiful. You got the leather and also you got the red stitching. And of course you got that white race stripe right there. It's a lot thicker than the original one. So it just feels right. It just feels more sporty. The original one right here, just got that carbon right there. So we have to get rid of that. And huge shout out to AZA Auto Wheel. They always come through with something super special. So we're super excited about that. But now that we moved on to aftermarket parts, we're gonna go ahead and tell you guys what we spent on aftermarket stuff here. But from the dealership, basically with all those parts um, and with the rec trx we're roughly around right now 86 grand right now that's without aftermarket parts that is and down to the penny this is basically i just wrote this down for extras uh this is down to the penny all the receipts i calculated together so we spent thirteen thousand dollars at the dealership yeah so. that's just for all the oem parts to get yep. this thing a hundred percent and then with the aftermarket parts counted on top of that what did we spend dude we spent fifteen hundred dollars on wheels look at these beautiful beautiful fuel hey beautiful fuel wheels beautiful dude. fuel wheels right <laughs> <laughs> there and of course we got some 37s on here we spent two grand on those tires right there which they do kind of rub up front a little bit but you know what it's all part of it right all there. part of it, it does, i think it needs just a little bit bigger puck lift but dude that ain't nothing dude yeah and also we ended up uh purchasing an exhaust for a thousand bucks right there so we spent forty five hundred dollars in aftermarket parts there's a few other aftermarket parts that our sponsors actually came through on which was the hood from black ops so huge shout out to those guys and of course rough country with the rear bumper which that sucker would have costed uh, 650 bucks if you were to buy it the hood would have costed you 1700 bucks and from the aza auto wheel that sucker is basically priceless right there dude you got a bunch of ruckus going out up front there's like construction or construction something right going there. on dude but, but anyways how, but anyways how much is it total total grand dude. total of everything all right dude. so we kind of broke it down basically just so you guys kind of understand it a little bit better so dealer parts thirteen thousand uh and one dollar and 95 cents <laughs> axle shop 500 bucks aftermarket parts 4500 trx wrecked plus delivery 
delivery, 75,328. And then we can't forget about the paint cost. Yeah. So we're trying to add everything. We painted this bed and a few other little components, which was give or take about a thousand bucks right there. Cause we had some supplies here at the house and it gets us to a grand total of $94,329.95, dude. Dang, man, for a wrecked TRX right here, yeah, dude. That TRX. is pretty crazy, dude. What, you're about to, what are you about to pull out? This guy paid $92,300, dude. Dang. So we got ripped off, basically. <laughs> well, you can't say that because we bought this at a really crucial time. I mean, that's too, uh, prices, that's of, prices of these trucks are skyrocketing. Even used, these things go around $100,000 nowadays. I've seen a few on eBay. You can go research some of them. They're like going upwards of uh, more than 100, yep. dude. I've seen, I've seen one of these like for like $130,000. Like yeah, I think it you? had a little bit of work done to it, but this right here is definitely unique one of a kind i don't know if we plan on selling it do we plan on selling it or we i don't think we're it, i think we're gonna keep this truck this is a good truck right here maybe a Amazing replacement truck. for something else dude exactly but <laughs> that's gonna be pretty much it for today's video we just wanted to give you guys an idea what it costs to basically rebuild something like this right here and i hope you guys enjoyed the video definitely let us know what you guys think we should do different did we get ripped off or is it a good deal <laughs> yeah definitely let us know about that but anyways make sure your post notifications are on so you don't miss out on anything and also if you want an inside scoop before youtube definitely give us a follow on instagram at goon squad but with all that being said thank you guys so much for all the love and support be sure to drop your comments and thoughts down below we'll catch you guys next time peace